So this will be a video about the Black Cowboy Museum. I think it's in uh, Rosenberg, Texas. And uh, the guy, Larry Callies, real good guy. A lot of good information. And when we really think about Hollywood or what we perceive to be as truth or historical history, when they're telling through textbooks or movies, it's not always the case, but when we think of cowboys in modern times or modern terms, we think of Caucasians with hats and rodeos and whatnot. But the original cowboys were so-called black men. Okay, so now we're going to look up the etymology of the word cowboy. 1725, boy who tends to cows and drives them in from pasture. American English sense of man employed to have care of grazing cattle on the Great Plains for a stockman or ranch doing his work on horseback is by 1849. Earlier, it was an insulting name for a band of marauding loyalists in the neighborhood of New York during the revolution of 1775 in figurative use by 1942 for brash and reckless young men as an adjective meaning reckless from the 1920s. The oldest word for one whose occupation is the care of cattle is cowherd, late Old English. Cowhand is first attested 1852 in American English, sea hand. Cowpoke said to be 1881, not in popular use until 1940s, was said to be originally restricted to those who brought cattle onto railroad cars and long poles. Cowboys and Indians as a children's game imitating movie, serials, etc. is by 1941. Boy, now, mid-13th century, boy, servant, commoner, naive, generally young and male, 13th century, rascal, ruffian, knave, urchin, mid-14th century, as male child before puberty, possibly extended from the urchin sense, a word of unknown origin, allegedly. But it also appears to be identical with East Frasian boy, young gentleman, and perhaps with Dutch boyf, naive from Middle Dutch boy, perhaps from Middle Low German bulb. This suggests a graduate relationship to babe. And you said about the like how the cowboy, how, how they got their names was back then they called themselves cowhands. They didn't want to be called the cowboys. No. No, that was the white man. He he called the cow because he was, you know, right. He was a cow. He was a cow. Good boy. Uh, the etymology of a boy is servant. Right? Servant. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So what the cats they eat? Twelve hundred. Okay. So they they wouldn't be couple boys right. until Hollywood. And if they look at the history, right, they start calling them men and cow. Because Hollywood, they have a license called an artistic license. Mm -hmm. So that's you know, a lot of the you know, movies, and it's not based in reality or truth. Mm -hmm. Especially the characters. I mean, don't you want to live? I actually watched a documentary about Bass oh, Reeves and my yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you know where they starting to put Bass Reeves remain now. Texas Monthly. Twenty nineteen. Then a story. Little cowboy. Larry Callis. Oh. <laughs> oh. Talking about my dad and my grandpa boots. From the nineteen forties. Oh, That's my grandpa wow. boots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See those boots? Mm -hmm. Oh, these pretty small feet. That was my grandpa. <laughs> I, this was Texas Monthly in 1919. Cool. I told him about Bass Reeves. The real real <coughs> picture. Guess what? Like on the oh. front page. <laughs> 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 21. They, they come out two years later. Talking about battery. Spread the word. Oh, that's the one girl. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But this is where they get the story from. Because mm -hmm. uh, the guy that wrote the book on battery. It was bad. Yeah. Hmm. He called me, see, Larry Callis. He said, I want to thank you for getting hmm. this back out. He wrote a book 20 years, 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. Hmm. It didn't ever sell. It didn't matter. I said, can you?
you say me some. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Your mission. laughs> All right, y'all know the story of the lone ranger. Well, uh, just what you just told you us. Know the story. Mm -hmm. it just was on TV, you know, him and Ronco. Right. Or... I'm going to tell y'all the story <laughs> that y'all probably heard. All right, he was born a slave in 1838. When he turned 15, he hit his master, knocked him down. He knew that was such. Uh, he stole the master's orders. He took my home. He got it. He went to India. They took him for 20 years. Oh. They taught him how to fight, how to shoot, how to ride, and how to track. He lived with him for 20 years. And then in 1865, when the slaves were free, he went to be, um, Oklahoma to be a U.S. Marshal. He went to the hanging. Parker. He went up to George Parker and he said, I want to be as a marshal. George Parker looked at him and said, you got to know how to read. Right? Because in the 1800s, blacks, it was against the law for blacks to read. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So he said, I can't do it. He said, but I got a good man. He said, okay, go get these five people. He named each one. Told them what they knew. Right? Told him what they could do. He remembered everything about him. He said, You got two months to get them. You can bring them back dead or alive. They were bad guys. He brought all five of them back alive in three weeks. Wow. Mm -hmm. They made him a U.S. Marshal. And you know, this man captured 3,000 convicts in his lifetime. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nobody else has done a fraction of that. Even John Walsh on TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's done 1,500. Mm -hmm. Not quite 1,500 yet. Mm -hmm. This man's dead 3,000. Now, let me ask you. So, this is Hollywood here. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. White Washburn. Yeah, okay. Let me tell you about Hollywood. They started singing about well, they started telling the story about me when he passed away in 1933. They didn't have TV, just a radio. Mm -hmm. One guy got on the radio So I'm going to tell you the story of the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger rides again. He do this. <laughs> People thought it was a horse on the radio. <laughs> they would sit every Saturday night at 7 clock to 7.30, sit and listen to the stories of the Lone Ranger mm. on the radio. Somebody called him and said, hey, who was the Lone Ranger? Y'all making him up for is he a real person? He said, oh, he's a real person. He's a black man. I did it, huh? and they said he was a black man. They had hundreds of phone calls saying they weren't going to listen to that radio. Station anymore. Mm -hmm. The man said, Why? It's because you said the Lone Ranger was a black man. He said, No, 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 no. I didn't say he was a black man. I said he wore a black mask. <laughs> 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 so in 1950, when they invented the TV, uh, they put the black man. They wanted to put him on TV, but they knew yeah, they wouldn't yeah. accept him. They didn't accept him on the radio. They were sure they were going to accept him on TV. So they put a white man with a black ass and called him the Lone Ranger. <laughs> with his sidekick. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to hear about the sidekick? <laughs> yeah. Was that uh, fiction or? Let me tell you, buddy. He had him. was helping him. Mm -hmm. They wanted him to interact with him. But Hollywood or as many Indian name. So they drove from Hollywood to New Mexico to the Indian Reservation. They got out of the car and they said, hey, we want in the real or as many Indian name to ride with a white man with a white hat and horse. And then stopped for a minute, they said, They left it. They 
took it back to Hollywood and put him on TV. Y'all know what time it was. No, that's what I'm waiting for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, what is it? Stupid. Stupid. Okay. Any yeah. yeah. Indian that arrived with a white Stupid. man <laughs> and put that kill half of them and put them on the reservation, kill all of them. They're going to ask, what would you call him? Call him stupid. They got a river in New Mexico. They got a new river in New Mexico. It's a stupid river. Uh, the Tonto River. Uh, and I go, but you know what I like about him? What I really like about him is he didn't like to kill people. He Bring him back a lot. Bring him back a lot. Out of 3,000 people, he only killed. That's unreal. Yeah, yeah. And you know this man has never been shot. He's never been wounded. Mm. He would capture people and he would pray for them. Mm. He would tell them about the Bible. He was doing the right. He'd take off his hat. He'd have a 15 or 20 people in a wagon. Mm. And he'd pray for them. Mm. Now that's what I like about him. Yeah. Mm. Do you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's never been wounded. When he died, they went to his house to get this uh, jacket. Yeah. They pulled it off the rack. They opened it up. It had bullet holes oh. all inside. Wow. Yeah. When people tried to shoot him, they couldn't shoot him. Wow. Was wow. The man was blessed. He was blessed. He was blessed, yeah. Shoot up the place. What are you standing around for? You know what's amazing or interesting about that movie, The Book of Eli, and what the Black Cowboy Museum, Mr. Larry Callies was saying, he was shot so many times and nothing could penetrate or hit him. Now we know that the Most High, the God of Israel, Yahweh, deals with his people in righteousness. Remember when I said I'm a Christian first and I'm a cowboy son? This lady hurt. She called me up. She said, Mr. Callis. I said, my daddy was Mr. Callis. I'm Larry. She said, Mr. Callis, I have a slave house. I want it to take me to. I said, wow. I said, that's huge. I said, can you send me a picture? She sent me this picture. And this is this? No, this no, is the slave house. Oh, but that's the slave house. I said, where is it? She said, it's in pieces. It's in Scotland. Texas. I say I got a 16 foot hay trailer. Mm -hmm. I can come pick it up. But when I was driving to pick it up, my heart was beating because of the last name. I jumped out of my truck when I got there. I said, ma'am, the Mitchells, I said, where did y'all come from? She said, we came from Hallis. I said, that's where my mom's from. Huh. She looked at me, she said, well, hello, cuz. <laughs> I said, whoa, wait a minute. How do you know where it goes? She said, I bet your mama's from Plymouth. See, yeah, but she won't tell me where she lives. She said, she's mixed with the slave owner in Hallettsville. That's where she came from. These people are from Hallettsville. Yeah. Hmm. Well, hello, <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I said, how do you know this? How do you know he came, a uh, slave owner was in Hallsville. And she said, look up a Texas man, James Kerr. She said, on page 11 of 22 pages, you'll see your great, great, great <clears throat> Paul, Captain Isaac Newton Mitchell. She said, that's your grandpa. I said, no wonder mama would never tell me. She said, we're from Hallsville. And that's all you need to know, boy. Because <laughs> I went to school in my senior year, the teacher said, we have to trace our family. And I told the teacher, I said, my, my mom's not going to tell me where we from. She's going to tell me we from Hallisville. 
And that's all that's I need right. to know. So, she wrote, oh, she said, oh, 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 what's your mom's name? I just say, call her Miss, Miss Callis. She said, Miss Callis, could you tell him where he's from? And, you know, uh, about his. I went to my mom. I said, Mama, you got to <laughs> tell me now. <laughs> I said, I got a note from my teacher. She said, what, what's your teacher's name? I said, Miss Craney. And I said, she said, what does she want? Why she want to come from? She said, okay. She said to Miss Craney, Larry's from Hattiesville. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Mama, tell me. But anyway, this lady told me that this Captain Ozzy Newton Mitchell was my grandpa. Hmm. I said, man, that's cool. I started reading about it, but I couldn't finish it at the house. So I took it to my sample shop. I had a sample shop on the set. And um, my cousin from Campo walks in. Mm -hmm. He said, what you reading, cousin? I said, I'm reading about the great, great grandpa. Mm -hmm. He said, read about the first one. Mm -hmm. He said, that was Kurt. He said, that's your grandpa and your daddy died. Mm -hmm. I said, how do you know that? He said, Larry, all the calluses are from Texas. From El Campo. You don't know where El Campo is. Mm -hmm. Well, I was from El Campo. The other calluses were from Edna. Edna always told me, he said, Why don't you ever go to date no girls in Edna? <laughs> he said, They're going to be kin to you. <laughs> so I never went there. But these people from Edna knew that Major James Kerr was a minister of the gospel. He was having kids with the slaves. And he wrote it in his Bible. Mm -hmm. He had 12 kids with the slaves. One, two, three, four, five, six by Cindy. Mm -hmm. I think he liked her. Mm -hmm. I, I got to thinking, I said, who's my oldest relative? I bet y'all got a grandpa around in here. I said, my Uncle Willie. Remember when I told you about my Uncle Willie? Mm -hmm. He was born June 19th, 1919. Okay. I called him up. He still lived in Hell Campbell. I said, Uncle Willie, how far can you go back? Uncle Willie said, I heard it, but I said, what? He still whispered, we had a white grandma. <laughs> I said, can I come see you? Because he ain't going to talk to me. He's going to tell the truth. I went to see him. He said, her name was Annis. She was born March the 24th, 1838. That's her. So I said, I found my grandma. Mm. I was bragging to about 30 people in here. A white man came up. He said, can I borrow this? I said, what? He said, I'm gonna trace you. I said, you gonna bring it back, right? <laughs> said, yeah, I have it in two weeks. That's what he had, two weeks. That's me. That's my dad from El Campo. <laughs> That's my mom, I know Mitchell from Ellisville. That's my grandpa, that's his boots, right? This is my grandpa Mitchell from Ellisville. Grandpa, great grandpa, and great grandpa. Wow. Mary Dennis, March the 24th, 1838. There it is. I said I found my grandma. Mm -hmm. But then he didn't stop. <laughs> what the wow. Oh my God, how cool is that? Jay? That's why he wanted to do it. Wow. 15th generation King Edward IV and Queen Elizabeth. Wow. Huh? Mm -hmm. What y'all say now? Yeah. Well, that's fair. <laughs> hey, wait. Y'all don't have to bow to me right now. You have a crown instead of a cowboy hat. <laughs> hey. Man, we're going to the coronation. He went in May. <laughs> I tried to go to the funeral. But they went in. <laughs> <laughs> that's my grandma. Oh, no. I flew all the way up there. I was knocking on the door. Hey, that's my grandma. I had my papers. <laughs> That's no kidding. Upset him. Alright, see this ancestry? With an ancestry, he looked up that James Kerr. I think it would end He found him. Found the ancestry for sure. Found his picture. Oh, wow. Me looking at him. 
Oh, it looks so easy. Hi! Maybe Cynthia and Dad or something. Hi! Slave schedule. The bottle. There she is. Annis, he highlighted it. Mm hmm. He, he had him in there by name. He had yeah. 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 a lot of black history, just numbers. Yes, That's right. right. That's all you have. You don't have all that. Well, Daddy, uh, Andrea showed me Daddy. Slave schedule. 1850. You know what she did? Yeah, she's got it. She looked it up. Mitchell at 28 slaves. Yeah, I got that. Mitchell at 28 slaves. One, two, three, four mulatto kids. Mm. Her at 17 and 12 mulatto kids. But see, that's another part, too, of the history when you say mulatto kids. So that's why people need to know that, you know, okay, so the slave owner had his wife, and then he had a concubine. A concubine. And then that's why you have, I look like I look, and I got a sister and brother that's his complexion, because it's all in the mm -hmm. gene, gene yeah. but it's all through this history yeah. yes. that was. Whether we, I mean, we had no control over that. None of us did. I agree with that part of it, but this is what was. There's no way around what was. You know, we're here now, so mm -hmm. we should be all getting along because, mm -hmm. I mean, that's just what was. Somebody called me a year ago. He's all, he went through his ministry. When you go through his ministry, you leave a trail. He called me. I said, I didn't do that. I said, a white man did it. <laughs> well, thank you, Mark. I said, I will. We got to talk, and he said, we got a lot in common. I said, what do we have in common? He said, he's a cowboy. He played the guitar, and he was in a George Strait video. <laughs> <laughs> he was in a George Strait video. I said to myself, I ain't never seen no black in George Strait video. I said, can I ask you a personal question? He said, sure. I said, are you white? He said, yes, I am. <laughs> I said, can you send me a picture of yourself? Oh, he sent this picture. Oh, wow. With a cowboy hat on and a guitar. Hmm. Oh, cool. Hmm. See? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I did this, I liked the joke. But the joke was on me. I had an all black crowd. I said, I'm going to get some escalates right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were standing right there, about five, six single black girls, nice looking girls. So I showed this picture and they went, ooh. I went, well, what about this one? And they said, you think you look as good as he does? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never show my picture again. I said, the reason he looks so good, he's a model. Mm. Gotcha. And I showed him my and they were, oh, he is good looking. <laughs> but then after they left, I remembered I had some pictures back here when I was modeling. Huh? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was. <laughs> but Jerry Curl, you know. <laughs> but you know what he did? He sent me a picture of my uncle. That's a picture I have on the wall. You know, the slave. In 1960, mm. he sent these pictures to me. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that cool? Yeah. yeah, he even came to my museum. I have him in my book. <clears throat> I have a book out. While I open this museum, here comes Cowboy Night. It's stepping out of the face. Mm -hmm. You yeah. sell those here? Mm -hmm. I have <clears throat> mine. Mm -hmm. I'm going in the picture of the Cowboy Night. Mm -hmm. I have my cousin, mm -hmm. the singer. I have him. This is. This guy, Brian Mitchell. Mm, mm -hmm. wow. I have the stories though. Yeah. When I was growing up, I even got a picture of my mom. That's my mom. She's still there? Huh? She's still there? Alive? Oh, she, she passed away. Michael <laughs> passed away. I had a picture of her. My mom. That's here somewhere. I'm a huge, 
I always, um, I say,